you. Hmm, let's turn the volume up a little bit. This is Let's Play Yukio Nightmare Troubadour. By me, Fledmine14. Hey there, guys. How's it going? Uh, in the last episode, um, we, uh, yeah, we did the whole duel with, uh, Yami Bakura. Um, you know, finally got him to duel set night. Uh, he transformed, you know, from regular Bakura into Yami Bakura. Uh, and then we got that email about the, uh, expert cup. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, though, um, and, like, you know, uh, you might not be at the level, the duelist level that I'm at right now. Um... But, uh, yeah, like, uh, there's a chance you may actually not get that email, uh, cause you need to be, uh, you know, you need to have enough experience to be level 12. We're gonna head to the shop here while I'm talking. But, yeah, you have to have enough experience to be level 12, you know. And if you are going through the events as fast as possible, you may be, like, you know, only level, like, 9 or 10 or something, so. Uh, anyway, um... We're gonna start by buying some packs today. There are some specific cards I want. Uh, and I did save like right before this, so if for some reason we don't get really anything too good, uh, then uh, I probably will reset, so. All right, but we'll try a few packs of these. Yeah, there's actually a certain card I'm looking for out of here, so uh, wish me luck, boys and girls. Wabaku, wow, we didn't have that yet. Hmm, well, that is a pretty good card. Okay. Wow, 98%. <laughs> I like the music in this game, though, man. Mmm, a prevent rat is not what we want. Now, I'm looking for a certain other card out of here, shall we say? It's funny, I think we've gotten this card before, but uh, some stuff happened, and like we, uh, we. Well, actually, no, no. I don't think we have gotten this card before, now that I think of it. Hmm. Okay, probably the last one of this I'm gonna open. I mean, we did get Wabaki, which is good. Oh! Hey! <laughs> well, there we go. Exodia, the Forbidden One. Yeah, yeah, I was actually doing some checking uh, in between episodes. I was like, hmm, you know, it'd be pretty fun to make an Exodia deck, but I just don't have the last piece, so... Hey, there we go. Um, you know what I am gonna do? We are gonna buy some more packs here, so... But ultimately, I'm just gonna save us some time. Let's save here on stay one. That's awesome. Okay. So we did get Exodia. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, that being said, there are a few other cards I'd like. Of course, I think I need another Exit Cannon out of here. Um, hey, let's just try for it, you know. We already saved, so there's really no harm. If we don't get it, or if we don't get anything, you know, too good. Oh, nice. Okay, there we go. Okay, and with that, I think that's basically the main things I wanted, um, as far as cards go. I guess we can just open up some other random stuff. Um, huh. Hmm. Wait, I already got Jinzo, right? Yeah, so. Uh, we only got 84% of this. Let's just open up a few legendary history, I guess. Alright, man, that, <laughs> I was pretty lucky got both things we wanted uh, pretty early there, so... Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I've got, like, two white dragon heads. I mean, three white dragon heads and three uh, Z's. Z metal things, so... Yeah. That Goblin Attack Force ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Also, there's some pretty funny combos. I'm sure you guys know. You can do a DNA surgery, so... Needle Worm. Ooh, Giant Trunade. Nice. Ooh, Megamorph. Wow. Yeah, this is a pretty good card. Whenever your life points are lower, double the original attack of the equipped monster. When your life points are higher, hold the original attack. Uh, that can actually lead to some pretty quick wins. So I may put Megamorph in... I'm not necessarily going to put it in every deck, but a few of my decks, yeah. Okay, and we got Salamandra. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good, yeah. Megamorph, Exodia, another X-Head. Hmm, I'm surprised Grandpa didn't say anything about us 100%ing uh, that pack, either. I think that's the first... Well, that's one of the ones we've 100%ed, anyway. Um, okay. Well, with that being done, um, 
Yeah, so, yeah, like, we got that email and stuff about the, uh, uh, Kaiba Mansion and the, uh, yeah, the Expert Cup and stuff, uh, but, uh, like, fun fact, if you actually try to, uh, well, I'll probably show you guys toward the end of the episode, but if you actually go over to the second city, you'll see the mansion that the email was talking about and everything, but, uh, yeah, fun fact, you actually can't even go in there yet, so, uh, much like a lot of the story events happen in this game, uh, you gotta wait until nighttime for something to happen. Uh, let's go against Yami Bakura, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I switched to the Destiny Ward deck, so we'll just roll with that, uh, here earlier. I knew you were going to come and challenge me, let's do it right now. Ah, you're not transforming into your alter ego here, huh? Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, you actually have to wait till night to, uh, uh, do stuff regarding the expert cup and all that, so we're not gonna worry about it for now. We're just gonna do what we normally do, do some duels. Uh, all right, stealth bird, hmm, plus swords. Hmm, okay. I'll do the usual, you know, do my first turn, and then we'll switch back to big view. Uh, pretty sure I have Sinister Shepherd in this deck, right? Yes, I do, okay. Oops! I misclicked. I clicked on Sangan. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Whoops. Whoops. Well, if we lose this guy, duel, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I goofed. <laughs> Alright. Big view time. Alright. Ah, Graceful Charity. Hmm. I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin myself. Unless you play Pot of Greed, my friend. Okay, so he did get graceful charity, so... Uh, Feather of the Phoenix, huh? Well, we'll do the Stealth Bird combo. Yeah. Nope. Bows the damage. Okay, let's take his graceful charity and see if we can find, uh... A Destiny board here. Mm-hmm. We'll take it, Yami Bakur, thank you. And I'll take the 2,000 damage, not a problem. Huh, oof. Man, we are breaking hard on the spirit messages. Look at that. Yeah, that is one of the risks of this deck, but uh, I guess I'll discard Feather of the Phoenix, and, uh, I mean, Lattice Bill's kind of good. Hate to do it, but I'll discard Dark Necro Fear. Yeah, man. Hmm. Alright. Well, depending on how the next few turns go, yeah, I mean, Bakura might be in good shape here. I mean, regular Bakura might be in good shape here. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's a good card. Let's see if he breaks though. Mm -hmm. Well, you got one armored zombie. Yeah, enchanting fit fitting room is an underrated card, man. That card's really good. Sacrificing for vampire lord? That's a pretty solid monster right there. Alright, let's see what we get here. Well, that might help us a little bit, honestly. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Uh, the major question I have is, uh, I do have a uh, last wheel. Hmm. Maybe I'll use uh, Stealth Bird's, like, both of their effects, like, one or two more times. Maybe I'll crash with the Stealth Bird just so I can last wheel. Uh, that may be what we have. What in the world? takes a thousand for that too. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Xarion Universe, huh? Well, that is a solid monster. Okay, let's summon it. Hmm. I'm assuming Vampire Lord's gonna attack my Xarion. Maybe I shouldn't assume that, though. Okay, bird down. Huh. Let's figure out, let's see how the AI works in this game. I mean, because obviously he's down to, yeah, we got him down to 2200. Obviously the AI should go for my stealth bird, you know, because of the burn, the threat of the burn damage. <laughs> but, uh, uh, let's see if they figure it out. We'll attack Dragon Zombie, yeah, because that will put him at 2000, so. <laughs> This could be a very funny turn, depending on how things happen. Okay. Alright, Bakura, what you got? Mm-hmm, got a 
gonna attack. He attacks Exarion. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, we are gonna have to send a card to the graveyard here, so... But this should be the end of the duel. Monster card. Well, thank you. <laughs> I can send Sinister Serpent after all. I don't think we'll need it, but, you know, you know. I don't know. Maybe this guy will top deck Divine Ram. You never know. You never know. Alright. Uh-huh. And that's it. Okay, we win. Wow. <laughs> Did not think we would win. Uh, that other top deck of Stealth Bird was pretty clutch, not gonna lie, because we bricked, you know, pretty hard here. I probably would have card destruction if, uh, you know, if we needed to there. But, uh, yeah, Stealth Bird. And thankfully he played his own, like, burn card. That kind of helped us out more than it helped him. But, uh, anyway, oh, we win, Makura. <laughs> Exactly zero. Yeah, get us up to 2,000. Nice. Okay. I can never beat you. You're too tough. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Alright. Let's see if there's anyone around here we haven't dueled. Which, there are quite a pe few people we haven't registered yet, so. Uh, where is this guy? Oh, there we go. It's Mako. <laughs> uh, the only reason I'm not dueling Mako lately is because uh, I, I'm like. 99% sure he has MST in his deck, and uh, we're trying to do the Destiny board thing, you know, so. Yeah. And he also has Raigeki Break, I just remember that too. Yeah, he has, he has Raigeki Break too, which is honestly pretty good. Can destroy any card, so. Yeah, that's why we're not dueling Mako with our Destiny board deck. Alright, I guess we'll go against Bokuba, see if we can get the Destiny board finish bonus. Gotta get stronger to help my big bro. It's time to duel. Let's do it, Mokuba. It's Mokuba. I'm surprised we're not seeing like Taya or Yugi, uh, the usual early game people. But uh, eh, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, we're going second. Okay. All right. We gotta watch out for his usual P1 soldier shenanigans. Hmm. It's a good card for you to start. Oh man, I love the sound when the field card goes in this game. It's just like, <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Let's set uh, Ancient Lamp. Hmm. Could use a Karibo in this hand. But uh, no, we'll set this. I guess we'll set Death Tornado. Yeah. Alright, Mokuba. Your turn, buddy. That's it? Man, I won't even get to use my Ancient Jar's effect. Yeah, that's, that's uh, kind of why I almost didn't want to set it, but, uh... Oh. Well, Mokubo played that one perfectly right there. I guess I should have destroyed the field card, but there's no way I could have known you had your uh, stat booster there, so... Hmm, well... Hmm. <laughs> I guess we're stalling. Let's go with Sinister Serpent face down. Alright, Mokuba, things are looking up for you. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. We'll take the 800 from Toon Alligator. I mean, I could have Dark Spirited up the Silent there, but... Nah, nah, I mean, you know. It's only 800 direct. We'll be alright. Tune alligator looks so funny. Uh -huh. Another face down, man. Wish I had my ancient lamp now. Mm. Magic jammer. Hmm. Man. Uh, not getting the best draws for us right now. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll try to stall this one out somehow. But uh, eh, a stealth bird would be nice here. He doesn't have anything too powerful. It's only gonna do like, what, 800 damage? That's not the worst in the world. Okay, so this has the. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, maybe I will Dark Spirit of the Silent. This big koala? Holy smokes. What are you attacking with first? Okay. So, if I don't Dark Spirit of the Silent, 
Big Koala is going to get a direct attack. Uh, hmm. Actually, maybe I should let this go through and try to save uh, uh, Dark Spirit of the Silent, actually. Yeah, maybe I should. It's going to hurt, though. It's going to be a big hit, Mokuba. Good for you, buddy. You're doing really well. Wow. Is it going to happen, guys? Are we actually going to lose to Mokuba? I mean, we might. Ooh. Ooh, that is a rough draw, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There are some cards in here that can help me get out of this, but, uh... Hmm, a spirit message is not one of them. So, alright, Mokuba. Alright. We're definitely gonna have the Dark Spirit of the Silent this turn. Yeah, he's going in with Crocodilus? Okay, so we will... Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Dark Spirit of the Silent? Uh-huh. Uh, so we want Big Koala to waste its attack. Yeah. And that way we only take, uh... The direct damage from Death Squall of this turn. Yeah. Oh, what? It can still do its normal attack? That's how that trap works? Oh, dude. I didn't know that's how it works. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, uh. That. I did not think that's how Dark Spirit of the Silent works. Wait, is that a glitch in this game? Because normally you can only attack once per turn, right? Ooh. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I might have to take that card out of my deck. I did not think that's how that would work. Hey, I'm looking for Mulyan Curie. If you have it, I'm willing to part with a card as strong as Crocodilus. I mean, I guess I'll give you Mulyan Curie. Wow. Okay, well, um... Is that a glitch in this game? Or, I don't know, I don't know. Because, like, I thought a monster could only attack, like, once per turn, right? But, uh, wow. In that case, yeah, I might have to take, uh, <laughs> Dark Spirit of the Silent out of my deck a little later on. Uh, maybe put that Wabaku I got in. That'd be a good card. Uh, alright, Mokuba. Give me my remit. I can't believe we lost to him. But we did brick pretty hard there, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first time this deck has really burned us as far as like really 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 bad draws so okay this is looking uh, a ton better than last time uh germ down destiny board first turn baby all right crocodilus I guess I'll keep big view just to make sure I don't miss any prompts. You know what? Let's just play this now. Ah, the Destiny Board. <laughs> I love that sound effect. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that Dark Spirit of the Silent play, like. Basically, I messed up. He got to attack twice uh, due to how the card works. That is, that is not good. Hmm. I'll do some more testing with that card before I take it out for sure. But uh, yeah. Spirit message. I. Uh, very good. All right, Mokuba. Uh, no need to set uh, ancient lamp yet. So we'll wait until he has another monster this time. And, uh, I'll end my turn. I don't even know why I said this tornado, but... Tori K. Okay. That's fine. Go ahead, Mokuba. Switch this back to Big View. I do have to remember to use Dust Tornado, though, at some point. And eh, maybe I'll play his field card again. Uh, no target in deck, right? Okay, yeah, that's what that was saying. Alright, let me get a drink here. Yeah. <laughs> Pink 
comedian. Oh, trying to banish my feelings, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Ah, oh, darn, you got it. Well, I guess Dark Necrofear is offline. That, that kind of sucks, but... Hmm. I wonder if there's a bonus for, like, banishing your opponent's cards. Like, if you banish, like, a bunch of them. I mean, there probably is, but... No, don't chain anything. Alright, we're getting the letters this time, Mokuba. Hehe. <laughs> Bet you wish you were like Taya and had to spell. Ooh, Night of Salem. Eh, we'll go with Ancient Lamp, though. That's funnier. So... Oh, please attack with Tori K. Ah, okay. He attacked with Crocodilus first. Alright, I will uh, big screen this to pay attention to the problems. Nope. Uh, hey, it's funny. If he would attack this with the Tori K, we could have had it attack the other Torike, and uh, <laughs> we would have got a two for one there. That would have been really funny. But it's all good. Alright, we use the effect. Uh, okay. Destiny board. Nope, don't play anything. The letter A. A. What's going on? Alright, and unless he has some kind of spell or trap removal, we should have this. Uh, yep. We don't even really need to play Delinquent Duo. Let's just end the turn. And I'll keep it big screen because we are about to win, so we should get the bonus. Nice. Uh, let's just play this now before I forget. This tornado wipe out that face down curve. I'll submit you some tape. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Night Assailant, do your thing, buddy. Let's go after this card. Stealth Slash. Alright. Looks like I got my revenge in this one, Mokuba. Yeah, set your penguin soldier or koala. It doesn't matter. We just gave you the L, Mokuba. Hehehe. <laughs> Aw, oh, yeah. Nice. Got the destiny board done today. And today we pulled the final piece of Exodia. And of course, I probably will build a uh, Exodia deck, you know. Uh, either in between episodes or in between like recording sessions, so No, I won't lose. You better believe it. Believe it. Okay. All right, let's go home because I do want to change things. So now that it's hit evening Yeah uh, Which deck should we go with today? You know what? Let's just go with Lester Soldier uh, Let me read recipe Now is it this one? Is this the right one? I don't know some of these decks we have like two versions of. Uh, any Luster Soldier deck? No, this is the only Luster Soldier deck. Okay, we'll go with this one. Alright. How many cards are in here? 64. Okay, that seems right. Um, I guess I could put another X Head Cannon in here as a good light target. Uh, might be a good idea. Um, also, let me see if Premature Burial is in here. It is not. Okay. Well, normally I don't deck it in here because it does take a while, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. So we'll scroll down to the T's until we hit the X. Yeah, that way we just have another target. There we go. X. And then we'll go over to Premature Burial. P. There we go. Okay. PR. PR. <laughs> yeah. Gotta work on my public relations. No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and we'll save it so I don't have to do this again for this deck. Luster Soldier. There we go. Very good, very good. And we will save here. Oh <laughs> man, I can't believe we lost against Mocha Buddy today. But it's all good. It's all good. Okay. All right, and uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of the episode, but let me just show you guys here real quick what I was talking about as far as the uh, the uh, mansion thing, like how you can't actually go there. So, this is the train, and we'll go over to the other city, and I'll just show you guys real quick.
Yeah, so the uh, the mansion uh, Kai was talking about is right here. Uh, there's nothing else around the map, right? You know. Okay, yeah, so if you actually try to go here, this is what happens. So I just figured I'd show you guys. The door is locked. Yep, that's lot that's like the only message you'll get. So uh, yeah, basically just kinda wait around till night and then uh, something should happen. So uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode here guys. Uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys all uh, next time. Maybe next time we'll be rocking an Exodia deck. Although, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't play it against, because like the late night duels are pretty good. I'm not sure if my Exodia deck could be good enough to beat any of them yet, so, <laughs> alright, bye guys, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to, you know, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed these videos, and we'll see you all next time. Yeah, have a good day.